Atticus Atlas Day 16 in the life of this uh, biggest moss, silk moss of the world. We will see what stage they are now. Here is the cage with the caterpillars. This morning I already put some new leaves in here because I thought they are now pretty big and I have to probably uh, make a second box for them so that we have around five in one uh, of these boxes. But first let's have a look uh, how big they are now. These are the fresh twigs that I added this morning. So, and here we can already see them sitting on these twigs. Yes, this is incredible how they look. Yeah. Otakus Atlas. I also have some new big leaves so we can put them in contrast on one of these leaves here so that you can see also a little bit the color of it. Yeah, let's see. I think we, I've, I've seen some bigger ones also. For example, this one here. This has already kind of a greenish touch now because later on they become greenish bluish a little bit. Uh, it could be that this is an, uh, already an L4, but I'm not very sure. I think it could be a big L3. Yeah, now I go just through the substrate, count them, how many we find in here. I think we didn't lose any until now, in the last days. This is a L3, isn't it, with the reddish points, with, and this is a, already an L4 without reddish points on the side. So this is a, an L4 already, and you see here is the L3 with these reddish points on the side. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Here's also one. 7. Let's go through the hole. So here are two more. L3 as you can see with the reddish dots. So this is probably an easy way to find out the stage because they have until L3 these reddish points. Now and this because it hasn't the reddish point this must be already an L4 also. So we're now in the stage of L4 here. That's interesting. Let's see, I've seen something down here, something pretty, pretty, pretty big. Oh yeah, here's another one. Yeah, also this is also L4, no reddish points anymore on the sides. And then of course, as, as you can see here in the box, we find a lot of, of, uh, of course, fresh pellets and a lot of, of this uh, mold coming out of this fresh pellets because the humidity is high and that's what it should be always in a cage or in a box with Autocos Atlas. Here are two more caterpillars. Now good that we find them because look they seem to be already a little bit too deep into the substrate here. So let's see whether it still lives here. It seems that this one not living, but this is okay, seems okay here. So we have to see what happened to this. Probably it was a little bit too close to the to the fecal pellets here that very quickly are overrun by this mold, and this is sometimes dangerous for the caterpillar. So let's see what happens here. Well, could be also that would be the good side of the story if it's preparing to mold, but it doesn't look exactly like this. So what we do, we have to clean up the whole thing again, take out all the fresh pellets, present them some new food of course, um, fresh twigs of privet, and this is of course a little bit dangerous because we have to keep high humidity for all these tropical species. It's also the danger that if we wait too long to change the whole thing with this uh, wet uh, toilet papers on the bottom it could be that the mold develops very quickly and that's what I don't like. So now this is the 
other box. Now we count the caterpillars once again. This one that I don't know whether it's still okay. I put in a kind of a quarantine. So this is one. This is two. I put the L4 in one box. This is this is still an L3 here. Now this is number three. Also number three. Here's another number. This is number four. Five. So I have five L four caterpillars in this box and in the other box here I present the same thing for the other caterpillars and let's see how many we still find here but I think we didn't lose one this time only this weak caterpillar here but it's still moving so I have some a uh, little hope that it uh, can survive also here I put some of the Private on the bottom, and then we count one, two, L3, three, three, four, five, six, and this is number seven here. So I put it on the top so I can see what it's doing the next uh, two or three days. And so, look, here is a beautiful twig of privet that I found just outside in my garden. There is a fence made with this privet and this is really nice because also in the winter time uh, we don't run out of fodder plants as you have probably seen in the playlist of the Mopane worm from Africa there I have really serious problem to find some green oak now so that's uh, what's good about privet you always find also in, in the winter time you always find a shrub near your place with uh, green leaves of privet. That's a nice plant for all people in the temperate region that like to rear uh, butterflies and mosses. And also in this cage, of course, I put some of these big and nice twigs. And also one of the caterpillars fell to the ground. I offer them some leaves here so they can um, crawl onto them and come up to feed on the new leaves that I present them. So until now we have a good luck I think. Of course remember we have to always uh, keep the boxes closed because now in winter time heating are running, running and so that uh, the air is pretty dry so uh, we are on the uh, safer side if we keep the lids uh, closed on the plastic containers here. Thanks for watching.